In this video, I'm going to show you the very best way that anyone can start making money with print on demand today. This video is going to be full of golden nuggets that no one is sharing. I'm going to show you how to choose products that are guaranteed to sell, how to get crazy amounts of free traffic, how to beat the competition, and how you can actually scale print on demand from a little side hustle to a fully fledged business. And don't worry, I'm not going to tell you to upload a hundred t-shirt designs and just cross your fingers and hope for the best like every other print on demand guru out there. No, I'm going to show you the fastest route to making money with print on demand based on my experience. If you're new here or maybe you're new to print on demand, do not worry because print on demand is a very simple business model that allows you to upload designs onto an array of blank products. And when someone orders one of your products, an external printing company like Printful, they will print it and they'll ship that product to your customer and you keep the difference as profit. I've been doing print on demand for years and I've documented the highs and lows on this channel from my first failed NFT poster business to my viral Queen's Jubilee t-shirts and everything in between. And after years of trial and error, I feel like I finally cracked it and I've got the very best way for beginners to start making money from print on demand. So I'm going to share them with you in this video. I know that starting a print on demand can be overwhelming and there's a million different ways to do it. There's thousands of blank products that you can choose from and there's a lot of different strategies and people on YouTube are telling you loads of different ways to do it. So in this video, I'm going to show you the very best way that anyone can build and scale a print on demand business and make shed loads of money in the process. So let's not waste any more time and dive in. Step one is choosing the right product. Now print on demand companies, I've got hundreds of blank products that you can sell, but it doesn't mean that you need to sell all of them. In fact, I really highly recommend that you do not try and sell all of them because I see people setting up a print on demand store. They're selling t-shirts, blankets, hoodies, mugs, bags, hats, everything in between. And then they're wondering why they're burnt out and why they're not making any sales. So you don't need to be a guinea pig and try out all the new products and try a bit of everything. All you need to do is just focus on what's working for other people. So if people are making money by selling mugs and t-shirts, then it's pretty simple. All you need to do is start selling mugs and t-shirts. And people will say, well, Liam, aren't mugs and t-shirts oversaturated if everyone's already selling them? The simple answer is no, because the beauty of print on demand is we have got the power to add our own designs onto anything. So as long as we've got a unique design, we ain't got to worry about the competition because we can beat the competition with our designs. And I'm going to show you how you can do that a little bit later on in this video. So my strategy is just to choose products that are in high demand and people are already buying. And then I just add my own design onto it, stand out and beat the competition. And another reason why I think t-shirts and mugs are some of the best products that you can sell is because they're super cheap to produce. So for example, you can get a mug printed for around five pounds and that means you can sell it for maybe under 10 pounds and you've made a nice profit margin and also your customers haven't got to think twice about buying it. It's an impulsive purchase. It's not a high ticket product. So it means they sell like hotcakes. And before we move on to the next point, I'm not saying that you should only focus on mugs and t-shirts. I just think this is the best best place to start to test your designs. And then if something sells on a mug or a t-shirt and you start making some sales, then you can take that design and you can add it onto a wall print or a cushion and then start to upscale that way. But I really think t-shirts and mugs are the best way to get fast sales and actually start building up your store. All right, moving on to step two, which is product research and identifying trends. This is all about identifying what's already working out there and crushing it in the market. Why reinvent the wheel again when we can ride the wave of what's already successful for other people? And I just want to be clear, this section is not about copying. We're not copying other people. That's not what we're about. We're just here to learn from what's already working from other people. We're working smarter, not harder. And then we're going to take that inspiration into our own designs and it's going to save us a lot of trial and error. But don't worry, there's going to be plenty of time for us to be creative and add our own designs a little bit later on. But first, we just need to find out what's already selling for other people. So first up, I recommend that you download this free Chrome extension called Range Rop. And then when you're inside that, create a little collection called Print On Demand Ideas. Once that's installed and set up, it's time to head over to Etsy.com. So Etsy.com is a massive marketplace with lots of people making crazy amounts of money with print on demand. And we don't just have to sell on Etsy. I'm actually going to show you some other great places where we can sell our print on demand products a little bit later on. But Etsy is a great research tool that we can use to identify what is selling well for other people. And we can scroll through. And the great thing about Etsy is it actually gives us information 
about the best selling products. So it's totally free and it basically tells us what's selling well. So if you scroll down, you'll see here like best seller here on this t-shirt here. That's obviously a blank t-shirt, but this one here says Etsy's pick. So that means it must be selling quite well if Etsy's picked it out. This one says popular now here, this like mum t-shirt because it's actually Mother's Day coming up at the time of recording this video. This one's a best seller and we can start to see all of these best selling t-shirts. Now at this stage, we're just doing research. We just want to see what's selling well. So what we can do is we can click on these t-shirts and then this is where we're going to use this raindrop app. So we can come here and we can click on this little Chrome extension, which you would have installed. And then we can add it to our print on demand ideas collection. And then that's it. And then we just go back here and we can just click on some of these different t-shirts. Everything that you think is selling well, we can add it to our print on demand collection. And then if we go back over to raindrop, you can see that I'm starting to build up a little folder of best selling products on Etsy, which I'm going to use later on when I'm actually creating some designs. And when we click on these, it'll take us back through to the listing so we can check out all that information later on. So Raindrop is a great little tool that we can use to start collating what's what's selling well on Etsy. Now that's the manual way of doing it and finding best sellers. The only downside to that strategy is that Etsy doesn't give you all of the information of the best selling products. So I like to use this Chrome extension here called Allura. This is a paid extension, but it's got a lot more detailed information about what's selling well. And we can see actually how much these shops are making, how much these t-shirts are making. So for example, this one here, this cat t-shirt, best cat dad ever, is actually made over $44,000 and we can click on that and we can actually see some more information about how many sales it's made over the last year and whether it's on an upwards trend or a downwards trend. And that's really, really good information. Now, if we go back to Etsy, you can see that it doesn't actually say bestseller on this. So with the extra Chrome extension of Laura, we can actually find some other products that might not be currently bestsellers, but they still could be good products to sell. So again, we can add that to our raindrop for a little bit later on. So that's how you can see what's selling well for others, but the next method allows you to get ahead of the competition by using Google Trends. So if you head over to Google Trends, and then if you click on the Explore tab, you can enter a product type like a mug or a t-shirt, and then it will show you what people are searching for associated with that over the last day. For example, if I search mug, I can see that oldie mug is actually trending. And if we go over to Etsy, you can see that there's a few people already selling oldie mugs. And the same applies with Freaking the Sheets Excel mugs. So this shows us that there's a demand for these types of designs and we can use that to help us out when we're actually coming up with product ideas. But the real magic happens when we use Google Trends to see what's trending generally. So this time, rather than searching for phrases like mug or t-shirt, we just wanna see what people are generally searching for and talking about online. For example, if Bitcoin is currently trending on Google Trends, then this could be a great idea for some t-shirt or mug designs. And I'm actually gonna show you how we can turn these search terms into killer designs that are almost guaranteed to sell in the next step, which is product design. Now it's the fun part. It's a time where we can actually be creative and have a bit of fun. But remember, you don't have to be a guinea pig. If a design is working for other people, we can use it for inspiration and that's going to help us get results much faster. So what we want to do is head back over to our Raindrop app and look at our products that we found that are already selling well. For example, this Cat Dad t-shirt is selling quite well, it's made quite a bit of money. So now I wanna try and turn this into a design that I might be able to sell. Then we can just head over to canva.com and create some designs based on this best selling concept like these that I did in literally 30 seconds using some Canva templates. So this basic one here that says best cat dad, and we can mess around with it by just using clip arts inside of Canva. And we've got some pretty basic, but they could work well designs based around this already best selling design. And then we could also change it up by instead of going for best cat dad, we might want to go for best cat mom, something along those lines. Or maybe we want to switch up even further and go for best dog dad. And we've got a little funny picture of a dog. So that's how we take a best selling design that we found on Etsy and we can kind of use it for inspiration, not copy it, but we can create some other variations that could potentially sell well. But an even better strategy is to take a best-selling t-shirt design and apply it to something that's trending in the news. For example, Bitcoin is currently trending on Google Trends. And if we go back to our Raindrop app, we found some cool designs that are currently working well. For example, this ice cream appreciation design is selling well at the moment. So what you can do is combine it with something that's trending. So I did this again in two seconds flat just to show you an example, but I've created a bit 
Bitcoin Appreciation Society t-shirt. And then we can obviously play around with this. So Bitcoin Appreciation Society might be one. We might want to go for Ethereum Appreciation Society or Crypto Appreciation Society. And we've got a few more variations coming out there. Then maybe we think this is actually quite a good design. We might want to take this to a niche. So we might want to go for like Pasta Appreciation Society or lots of other variations. I'm just thinking off the top of my head, but that's how we take a, a existing winning design and we can come up with lots of different designs and variations around that. And these designs are very, very simple and very quick to do on Canva. But if you're short on time like me, or maybe you've not got a great eye for design also like me, then you can actually pay people to create designs for you. So you can head over to Fiverr.com. You can tell the designers on Fiverr your ideas or the subjects or the ideas for your t-shirts or mug designs, and then actually pay them and they'll be able to create you much better designs and you don't have to worry about that. Or finally, if you want to create even better designs and you want to be a bit more unique, you can actually use AI now to create some t-shirts and mug designs. So I like to use the AI art generator called Midjourney. I get it to create some images, type in a prompt, and then it can produce you some epic artwork that you can use in your print on demand business. Now, the thing is AI generated artwork works better on posters because usually they don't have a transparent background. So I actually used Midjourney to create some gaming posters a little while ago, which turned out great. If you want to add them onto kind of mugs or t-shirts, usually you need like a transparent background it can be a bit more fiddly you might just have to cut out the background using photoshop or canva but it totally is possible but honestly canva has got everything that you need to start your t-shirt business so you don't need to overcomplicate it canva will do most of the things that you need it to do sometimes when i'm creating a design on canva and i maybe need a certain image that's not available in canvas like stock library then i could go over to mid journey and get it to create me an image and use it that way. So once you've got your designs created, we need to actually get them onto some blank products. So we need to choose a print on demand supplier and choosing the right print on demand supplier can be the difference between success and failure. And no, it's not just a case of choosing the cheapest supplier out there, which a lot of people do try and do. In fact, I would definitely advise against that because if you get one bad review, it could ruin your entire business before you've even got started. And the way to keep our customers happy is by choosing a high quality print on demand supplier that are gonna provide high quality product but there's three things that I look for first of all we want a high quality product range so our customers are happy we also want fast international delivery so our customers aren't waiting around and we want competitive prices so we can save money but we can also pass that those discounts and that money saving onto our customers so we haven't got to charge them crazy prices so this is why I use Printful as my print on demand supplier. I've tried lots of different print on demand companies over the years and I settled with Printful because they ticked all of the boxes. And I just want to be clear, Printful have kindly reached out and offered to sponsor this video, but I was using them way before they approached me and I naturally chose them because they did tick all of those boxes. So if you want to try Printful out yourself, you can create a free Printful account using my referral link in the description down below. And a really good tip, if you are planning on making more than a few sales, then I recommend that you sign up for their growth membership. It does cost £19.99 per month, but it gives you up to 30% discount on items so you can save a lot of money. Plus, it's got a few other benefits as well. So it's defo worth checking that out if you're going to make more than a handful of sales. Oh, and another great thing about Printful is they don't just offer direct to print like t-shirts and things like that. They also do embroidery and also all over printed products as well. Now, this is a really good tip because remember before I was like, if you see products that are selling well, we can use them for inspiration and create some designs. Well, a really good hack and a really good way of actually borrowing what's already working but changing it up is by turning someone else's ideas or whatever's working for other people into a different type of product. For example, if there's a t-shirt that's selling really well that says best cat dad and it's just a direct print t-shirt, if you want to kind of borrow that and change it up a bit, you can turn it into an embroidered t-shirt that says best cat dad. And that will allow you to differentiate, stand out, and you can kind of offer a higher quality product as well. So now you've probably got your products uploaded onto Printful. They're on some t-shirts, they're on some mugs, and they're ready to go. Now we need a place to sell them. So you can actually create your own website and list the products for sale there. But I really don't recommend that for beginners because it can be difficult to get customers at the start. So in order to make lots of sales and fast, we need a steady stream of traffic. And the best way to do this is by tapping into platforms that are already get millions of visitors every single day. So the first one is Etsy.com. Now we did use this earlier for products research, but it's also a great place that you can actually use to start making some sales. And it's great because it connects directly to Printful. So if someone buys a product from your Etsy store, 
You don't have to do anything. It's all automated. They buy it. It will be sent over to Printful. Printful will process the order and send it to your customers and you can just sit back and chill out. Now, some people watching this will probably say, Etsy is too oversaturated, but it's really not. In fact, I built a brand new profitable Etsy store in 24 hours for a different video, which you can check out after you've watched this video. But first, I wanna give you some tips on how you can sell on Etsy, how you can stand out from the crowd, and how you can make lots and lots of sales without spending a penny on adverts. And I've even got a hack that increased my Etsy conversions by over 30%, and it took seconds to implement. So first up, you need to create a free Etsy store. So you wanna head over to Etsy.com, but don't sign up just yet, because what you wanna do is you wanna come over here and type in 40 free listings, and then what you'll find is there's lots of people on here that have got listings and you don't need to buy anything. And if you click on one of these, it's actually just people using it to share their referral link. But if you sign up with someone's referral link, you will get 40 free listings and they will get 40 free listings. So it can save you a bit of money because it costs around 20 cents per listing when you're uploading your products. And if you upload a lot of products, then it can actually start to add up. So if you just come here and just use this person's referral link, just like this, click on that, paste it in the browser, and then you can create a Etsy store with 40 free listings and go through the process of setting up your Etsy store. And then once you've created your Etsy store, you can come back over to Printful. And if you come to this store tab down here, click on connect an e-commerce platform, click on the Etsy one, click on connect, follow those steps, and then you will connect your Printful account to your Etsy store. And then you can import all of your products that you've added to Printful all the way over to your Etsy store. So now that's all set up, how do we actually beat the competition on Etsy? It's all down to keyword research and making our listings pop. So many people rush this part. They spend hours creating designs. They add them onto some t-shirts. They import them over to Etsy and then they just cross the fingers and hope for the best. And the only way people that are gonna actually find your listings if you take time to do the next bit. And I would much rather spend hours of my time optimizing five amazing Etsy listings than just churning out 100 subpar Etsy listings. So really, I can't stress it enough, focus on what I'm about to tell you next and this is gonna be the difference between success and failure. So the first step is keyword research. So before you write your title or your description or your listing, you need to actually know what people are searching for and how they're searching for it. And you need to look for any gaps that you can actually capitalize on. So for this, I like to use this tool here called Sales Samurai. And it's a Chrome extension, which I've got installed on my Chrome browser. And it's laid over Etsy. And what we can do is we can use this to see what people are searching for, what keywords they're searching for. And we can actually look at the search volume and the competition. So for example, if we're planning on creating some designs around Bitcoin, we can come to Etsy and we can type in Bitcoin maybe Bitcoin t-shirt, but then we can also click here where it says 500 more and this will open up the Sales Samurai actual app and it will show us all of the different variations of what people are searching for associated with Bitcoin t-shirt. And we can actually find some gaps here what might not have that much competition. So it shows us down here all of the search volume and then it shows us the competition. So how many listings are actually competing for that keyword. Now, most people will probably just, if they're creating a Bitcoin t-shirt, they'll probably just add in the keyword Bitcoin t-shirt. But this will allow us to delve a little bit deeper and find those gaps. So. If we're scrolling down here now, you can see all of these things. So they're getting a lot of search volume. They've also got quite a bit of competition. But what we can do is we can maybe organize this for by competition to the least competition. And you see a few things that, that might not work, but you can see here like Bitcoin bull t-shirt or Bitcoin bull shirt has only got 710 competition. So that's actually relatively small for Etsy. So there could be an opportunity for you to create a t-shirt around that. Now, obviously Bitcoin is probably one of the main ones. If you was to go after maybe a smaller cryptocurrency, you might be able to beat the competition off a lot easier. But there we go. We've just found an opportunity here that's not got that much competition. And I actually just click on that. And even though it says 710 competition, most of these will not actually be Bitcoin bull t-shirts. So as you can see, here we've actually just clicked on it it's search bitcoin bull shirt and i cannot see one bitcoin bull shirt here so if i create which i'm actually thinking of doing now i'm saying it because i think it's a great idea a bitcoin bull shirt then we could actually rank at the top here make quite a lot of sales 
and we can make quite a lot of money. And that's because we use this keyword research tool. Now we don't necessarily have to create designs around those keywords. We might just want to steal those keywords or borrow those keywords and add them into our listings. So these people here, they've not actually created a Bitcoin bull shirt but they just probably just added this keyword into their listing, which is helping them rank higher for that search term. And if someone's looking for a Bitcoin bull shirt, they might wanna buy crypto over cash t-shirt. So you can also just stuff these keywords into your listings. And that's a really good way of ranking. And another really cool tip is you can actually get ChatGPT to help you out with this. So you just feed it the keywords that you found using Sales Samurai. For example, like this little post here, this is the prompt that I've written for ChatGPT. It just says, write me an Etsy title and this detail description for a Bitcoin Appreciation Society t-shirt. Stuff them with these keywords, Bitcoin bull, buy Bitcoin BT t-shirt and lots of different variations. Click enter and ChatGPT can actually help us out. And like you can see here, exclusive Bitcoin bull shirt, unique BT t-shirt for crypto enthusiasts, perfect crypto gift, perfect Etsy title, stuffed with keywords. And again, the description's stuffed with keywords, which we can use. Now, when someone's entering some of these keywords on Etsy, because they've not got that much competition, there's a much higher chance of our listing ranking higher and we can make more sales. So keywords are really, really important, but there's another thing that so many Etsy sellers neglect. And if you actually spend a bit of time doing this and making sure you put a bit of effort into this in your own store, you can overtake even some of the best sellers on Etsy. And it's all about images. So let's go back over to Etsy and I'll show you this here now. So I've searched best cat dad t-shirt, which is that best selling t-shirt we found earlier. And you can see there's a few people actually selling variations of this. Now, a little side note is if you actually look, they're all copying each other with the same design. Don't do what these guys are doing. You want to change it up a little bit. So if you found this t-shirt is selling great, well, you don't want to create one that's almost identical because most people are just going to buy this, this one here anyway. So you want to jump on that trend or jump on that idea but change it up a bit and be creative. That's why we still are going to be creative with our designs. But anyway, that's a side note. I'm just saying that because I've just noticed that. But it's all about the images. Now, even this best-selling product here, they're not doing this right. If we actually click on the listing, you can see they've got a lot of images uploaded, but they're all just flat lays of a t-shirt in different colors. So you've got an opportunity here to upload around 10 images. So you need to use all of that space in the best way that you can. And the way that you're gonna do this is by using mock-ups. So you actually wanna get some lifestyle mock-ups of people wearing your designs or holding your mug and it looks realistic and this will help conversions and make your listing build a lot more trust with your customers and your conversions will go through the roof. And if we go back here, you can see there's a few people with these mock-ups, but they're not the best ones. So these guys are kind of doing it, but if we click on that, this guy's just again, just uploaded the same mock-up in different colors. We don't wanna do that. You wanna have a very Variation. Let's go and see this guy. This is quite a good mock-up. Again, he's only got a few images here. So even though this t-shirt has got a bit of competition already, you can actually overtake that competition and increase your conversions. And if you get more conversions than everyone else, then you're going to rank higher than them. So just create some better images. So if you want to do this, you can use Printful's inbuilt mock-up generator or another great website that's got so many mock-ups is this one here called Placeit. So you can literally add your t-shirt design onto lots of different mock-ups. This guy's used that one that was on Etsy just then. But you can add it onto lots of different mock-ups and you want to change it up, have different people wearing your t-shirt, add it into your Etsy listing and your listing is going to overtake everyone else's. And the next thing about images that you want to do it's all about the thumbnail as well. So this first image is the thing that needs to grab attention and stand out. And so many of these people are failing at this point. You really want to try and stand out. So what I like to do sometimes with my listings is add like a crazy background behind it to stand out. So these, these people have kind of done it here with this wooden one, which kind of does catch attention. There's a few people doing it here. As you can see that one's on space, but it doesn't actually pop because it's black against black. This one's quite good, actually. That really does stand out. So that's quite a good job there. But yeah, really try and make your, your listings pop. If you were scrolling through Etsy, would you look at this listing? Would it stand out? Would it pop? That's what you really need to keep thinking about. Or sometimes you can also add little text or annotations onto your thumbnails, kind of like this one's done here, but it's not very clear that says your image. So you can actually add your image onto that one. But sometimes I like to add stuff like made in the UK. If I'm targeting a UK audience, it increases sales, but also it just helps the list stand out on Etsy because there's a bit more to it than just the generic mock-up that everyone else is doing. And the final Etsy tip is a little hack, but I've seen an increase in my sales by over 30% just by implementing this two-second thing. So what you want to do is come into your Etsy listing just like this here 
And when you import your products from Printful, because Printful have got an endless stream of product, it will just say that you've got 999 of every product because your product will never really run out of stock, usually most of the time. But what you can do is you click on manage variations here and then you wanna click on quantities vary, click apply, and then you can actually manually edit the quantity here. Now what I like to do is just add in like four under five, in here, click on publish changes. Then if we actually open this listing, you will see that here on the top of the page, it says low in stock, only four left. So this is a little hack. So we can use Etsy's inbuilt kind of notifications to add a bit of scarcity. And another little sneaky little tip is we can actually just add this to our basket on like a private browser, click add to basket. And then when someone actually visits their basket and they're about to buy this, a lot of people don't end up purchasing because a lot of people get to the bit where they're about to buy and then they kind of go, I'll come back later. But what you can see here is this has popped up in the basket when someone's about to buy only four available and it's in two people's baskets. Now what that does, again, it creates more scarcity. So people are thinking it's about to run out of stock. I'm going to actually proceed to check out. So that's a sneaky little trick. Don't tell anyone I told you that, but I do like to use that and it does definitely increase conversions. So just by implementing these few tips that I've told you, you should be able to get your Etsy listings to rank. You should be able to get lots of sales from within inside Etsy without spending a single penny on adverts. Another great tip, if you actually want to get more traffic to your Etsy store from outside of Etsy, totally for free, you can actually use Pinterest. So you can post your listings onto Pinterest. You can link your products out there. And when someone's browsing on Pinterest, maybe they're looking for some products or clothing to buy, they can see your products and they can click on the link and it will link them directly back to your Etsy store and you can get some more traffic that way. But that's all about Etsy. But Etsy isn't the only way that you can actually sell designs. Another great place that you can sell print on demand products, which I recently started testing and I've been getting some great results is TikTok shop. So if you don't know, TikTok shop is quite similar to Etsy in a way or Amazon. You can connect your Printful account directly to your TikTok shop account. You can list all of your products on there and create a little store and you can start making sales. Now TikTok shop a little bit different because the way to actually start getting traffic and getting sales on TikTok is not by relying on people searching it's better to actually create content and create videos about your products now they do not have to be high quality dancing videos or anything like that or you don't even actually have the physical product i've been doing this myself with mock-up videos that i got from placeit.com adding my design onto them and creating very basic TikToks about my products and I've been making sales. And another great way of making sales on TikTok shop if you don't want to create any videos is by tapping into their affiliate marketing program. So when you create a TikTok shop, you can actually put your products available for other people who are on TikTok to actually share with their audience. So they can create the videos, they can share them with their audience and if someone buys through their link, they all get a little commission, you make sales and you make passive income. Now this TikTok strategy requires a whole video of itself. Now you're in luck because I've actually created a video all about the TikTok strategy, walking you through everything from start to finish and you can check it out by clicking here. And if you like this video, make sure you hit the thumbs up button and subscribe if you're not subscribed. Thanks guys.